Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry to bother you. What's I'm up? Fernando. I work at Peak Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to uh, Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I know. <laughs> no, man, that wasn't even... Is this a cop? No. That's like a UPS guy? It's like a salesman. Somebody getting murdered? Hello? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Hey, sorry to bother you. What's I'm up? Fernando. I work at Peak Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to uh, Sorry, dude. Neighbors. I apologize, man. I know. <laughs> no, man. That wasn't even... Uh, <laughs> Look at him rubbing his head. Walking away in defeat. <laughs> just talking. To We're just walking door to door talking to. Oh my god, that's so crazy. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. I thought that it was something to do with the audio in the background. Like some car crash was going to happen or something? Yeah, I thought the dude maybe had somebody in his like, apartment or I don't know. Welcome back, losers. Yeah, it seems like you guys have only gotten fatter and we've only gotten fitter and more jacked and ripped and... Uh, richer. Richer. A lot um, of money flowing through us right now. Oh, it's insane. Into your pockets, out of my pockets. It's going both ways, dude. It's been going really good. The duality good. of man. The duality, dude. I, uh, I've had a pretty eventful last week, honestly, since we last spoke, dude. Oh, yeah? You got a new girlfriend? No, no. Oh, okay. He's good, though. We, uh, I've started doing jujitsu. I've already done three lessons now. Whoa. Sick, bro. Sick. I'm totally, I'm Joe Rogan. You're better. I'm better than Joe Rogan because I'm taller. Joe Rogan's fat. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He just, he's like a big dumb Cheeto man or something. So I, I was, I've been also looking and trying to buy an ice bath for my backyard. Fuck, dude. If you want to buy like a, a branded one, like a went one that's like a, a brand. Yeah. There's one, this one this, that's like a barrel. Yeah, that it's one's a thousand dollars, bro. Yeah, that barrel one is cringe too. Yeah, and if you could feels like you could make something like that. Yeah, it's called a trough, like an animal trough. Yeah, but I do like that it's like stand up rather than lay down. That appeals to me. It... Whoa! <laughs> ghost, ghost. Ah, that's because the barrel sucks, and you're talking good about it. That's why our oh. fucking building's falling apart. Right. So, what would you recommend? The one where you lay down, like in a trough. Yeah. Because that like would be, that. what, 200 bucks, like the one you were showing me, the Rubbermaid ship? Yeah, it's like a huge one that you can fit in is like 200 bucks, 250 bucks or would something. Would it fit me better than a bathtub? Yeah, a bathtub's, bathtubs are actually really small. Or like, a, I mean, sorry, like a master bathtub? Uh, Probably not. I don't know. Would it fit my whole body except for my head? I think so. I'm not sure. I I, I'm going to have something. to go to Home Depot and lay in it. <laughs> you, you have to not go to Home Depot. You have to go to a feed tractor. Store? Oh, a tractor supply store? Tractor Supply Po. Does this look good? I can't tell. Whatever. Who cares? Looks great. If it's not good, I don't give a fuck, dude. Our, the new laptop's already in. The production quality on this show is about to go up so immensely next week, dude. You guys are not even going to recognize it. Except for the fact that everything's going to be the exact same, except we can watch videos now if we want. Oh, hell yeah. We could watch that video live. Yeah, we could watch that video live. We honestly should. I might, I might superimpose it. Yeah, I think you should. Um. Yeah, the production quality, I think, needs to start going up. It'd be really easy. It'd be a lot easier, you know, if we, if we had, like, a bunch of people helping us edit, you know, if there was, like, more than one person <laughs> editing anything. I know. That would, like, really be... I don't know how we could do that, though. If somehow we could find somebody that was willing to edit. That's so true. That'd be so awesome. But, uh, yeah, dude, jujitsu fucking rocks. I'm gonna do... I'm trying to convince my brother to do it because I want him to... But he's such a fucking Jew, dude. He's so... He's such a fucking penny pincher. Yeah. I don't... He's like, I don't have the funds for that. I'm like, dude, you have mo way more money than me. Mm. What? <laughs> Just because you're not willing to put yourself in an insane amount of debt like me doesn't mean that you don't have enough money. He's to gotta go to school. Somebody's gotta pay for it. Dude, he already went to school. He already went to fucking school. Yeah, but school. that one didn't count. Oh, he's gotta go to school again, you think? I know so. Mm. He's got a double dip. 
Yeah, he got double dip. He should have got two degrees the first time like me. True, and you're p- putting both to great use right now. Yeah, especially when I go to my sales representative job where I where I use my philosophy and graphic design degree. When you ask somebody what they want for appetizers, that is not sales representative. Dude, the only time that it ever helps... For, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. And Do I've, not diminish my life's work. Hey, I've won multiple competitions on being the best salesman at work. Uh, I've sold the most porterhouses, I've sold the most tomahawk steaks, and I've sold the most wine. Wow, you're the best cocksucker at the restaurant. I go, listen, if you don't buy this, my job, my boss is going to fire me. I need you to fucking buy this stuff. I take pride in never being named employee of the month because that would just be such a, like, cuck of the year. Cuck of the year. Listen, dude, I think it'll help me with my new position in the future. I think, I'm, I think within the next few months, I'm not going to be working there anymore. I, I'm... I haven't actually actively started searching. I've just kind of like looked at different positions and like the descriptions. I haven't actually applied for them, mainly because I want to revamp my resume, and I've been just doing so much fucking jujitsu that I can't, dude. And you're just so fully locked in when you're on the mat rolling around. You can possibly be thinking about anything else. It is actually really cool, and it is very meditative in that way. And you're just so locked in. I'm locked on the in. Hustle. Oh, dude. Oh, fit in my uh my nutrition hack. Ready? Yeah. Go to, like, Jewel or Meyer or wherever. Uh, Jewel is where I've been going, though, recently. Getting uh, shredded chicken in, like, a little container. And it's, like, a pound of shredded chicken. 105 grams of protein. And uh, I and take... only... Oh, oh, 105 grams. Okay. Only 105, yeah. No, 105 grams is a lot. I thought you said 105 calories. I'm like, how the fuck is a pound of chicken only 100 it's calories? It's 500 calories, I think. Um, Probably 1,000. No, nah, I'm pretty sure it's 500. Pretty so sure. in 500 calories, it's 150 or 105 grams of protein. Yeah, I think it's one ca- one gram of protein for five calories or something. All right. Um, but uh, you might be right on that. That might kind of sounds off. That sounds more like shrimp than chicken. But uh, anyways, I do I do the shredded chicken and I do half a container of roasted red pepper hummus inside of the chicken. And then I do a full avocado and I do Cholula and salt and pepper and I just mix it all up. And I eat it like a like a slop, and you go. I'm getting huge. It actually tastes all okay. It doesn't taste great. I'm getting huge. Yeah, I am getting jacked. I'm getting super shredded right now. Right now, I weigh less than I did when we we finished that uh, weight loss challenge. Yeah, me too. So, I'm like hitting him 179 right now. I've been consistently losing one to two pounds a week since I started that new job, and I've been. Gaining insane strength compared to when I first started. I'm so fucking weak right now, dude. I cannot bench two plates anymore. I can't. Well, I'm not even close to that. So, I still have the body composition of a woman, and it's just from where I was to where I am now is much better. You're like a big woman. I'm like a two still on a scale of one to ten. I was just at a point one before. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I uh, I don't know what the fuck it is with my with my strength loss. Ever since I got back from camping, I just am not as strong. Like fit, like with specifically bench press. My my biceps and back are just as strong, if not stronger. My chest and triceps have gotten significantly weaker. Specifically, my chest has gotten significantly weaker. You gotta get back on the teen. You think so? I know so. You think I've not been taking enough protein in my body? Not protein, creatine. Oh, I have stopped taking creatine completely, and and for that matter, I haven't drank a protein shake. I drank I drank one today at the gym. But mm-hmm. other than that one, I haven't drank a protein shake in months. Months. Damn. So that could be it as well. I've been eating, like, the same thing every day. Like, just meat sticks, cheese sticks. That's so good. That's, like, the best way, too. It's kind of expensive, sticks, but that's good. Jerky. Oh, that's Every ex- day. That's expensive, but that's, like, a really solid way. I have my mommy buy it all for me. Oh, yes. I go, please, mama, make my one cheese. I'm hard working so hard. So good, though. Mama, I'm working so hard. Give me my work cheese. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And then, oh, dude, but the worst is if I don't finish some of it and it stays in my car, I so rarely clean my car, it turns into a mess. I just went and cleaned my car. I just did that right before I came here. Did you go to, like, the wow? No, I just did it at home. Oh. I, like, just took a shop back? No, I didn't didn't clean it, clean it. I just, I mean... I don't really need to vacuum it because there's not much foot traffic in my car. Yeah. Other than the front pa- or in the front driver's seat. Yeah. But and that passenger seat leaned all the way back. All the way up. 
because no bitches in there. No, no bitches. bitches. I hate bitches. These this kid gave me the damn fruit by the foot. He squeezed the shit out of it. Look, he's a stupid fucking kid. I fucking hate this stupid kid. Fuck, I'm squeezing the shit out of it. And then the a shopping cart wheel like, going like this while the rest of them go forward. <laughs> uh, one of the shopping wheels on the shopping cart be like... <laughs> Da, 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 da. Sorry, what was I saying before I brought up that guy? Playing the blame game. Oh, cleaning cars. I hate you. Don't know that one. You don't know the blame game by Kanye West? Uh, maybe I do. It doesn't sound familiar, though. Let's play the blame game. I hate you. Oh, now that you've said it the second time, <laughs> fully, like, I got it now. But uh, what It's what? the one where Chris <laughs> Rock at the end, he goes, Oh, okay. Who showed you how to Dude, I never even been to this part oh, of Pussy Ka- Town Ye before. Kanye showed me. Kanye showed yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I actually do know that song. I gotta buy that nigga a watch. Yeah, yep. I do know that one. Thank you, Kanye. Yeah, she taught. He taught her how to give a head. That's what the, that joke is. You got your pussy all reupholstered. Yep. Who reupholstered your pussy for you, baby? Kanye reupholstered my pussy, baby. Mm mm mm. I love you, Kanye. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are doing the Lord's work, Kanye. So I had to, the reason I went and vacuumed my car out and washed, dude, I wa- so I washed my car and I even went and got the shit where you bu- like put the quarters in and you like buy all the stuff. I got like one of the blue yeah. rags and like the um, things that make your tire shine and uh, the thing, like a console wipe. Mm-hmm. And I went and I washed my car. I vacuumed the outside of my car. Or the inside of my car. <laughs> I vacuumed the outside of my car. <laughs> I vacuumed my car and washed it. And then it started raining. Like, it literally while I was still putting this tire shine on. And mm. now there's just dots on my car. Nice. It's very annoying. But uh, I had to vacuum it because I had a bunch of fingernails there. I had, a, like, a ton of fingernails, like, right on my driver's side, like, door. Because you just Cause chew I, them and I, spit them out? Yeah. And so I had to I had to suck them all up so that when the, when the fucking glowies come in my car, they don't have anything on me. <laughs> So that when your trans girlfriend gets in your car and looks over, she doesn't instantly break up with you? Yeah, she would be disgusted. It, well, it's just anybody would be disgusted. It's like it's not a good sight just to see a bunch of fingernails in somebody's car. You're like, what the fuck? That's so gross. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Get but, out of my car. To be fair, my back seat, both seats in my back seat were spotless. Um, my front seat was okay. Like My front passenger seat was pretty decent. And then my... Um, my front, my part was pretty bad. I had rotten food all over my car. I didn't have any food or anything. I just had, like, a lot of dirt. I had black bananas. Jesus, dude. I had cheese sticks that were putrid. <laughs> putrid cheese. You had the cheese touch? I had the cheese touch. Oh, my. Did, I'm t- assuming Matt sent you that Twitter thing, too, right? Roderick rules. What what cheese touch? Roderick. No, the uh, but Diary of the Wimpy Kid kid killing his mom. No. No? The kid who starred in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the movie... Got arrested for killing his mother. Did he do it? Yes, he killed his mom. Savage. And then it's the the caption was Zooey Mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he did send that. Now that you said the caption was Zooey Mama. Very crazy though, right? He's not a wimp anymore. Uh, it's kind of crazy. She probably fucking sold his soul to Lucifer for him to get that role in Hollywood, though. Probably. Remember Jeanette can Rick McCurdy made that book recently that's not out yet or maybe just came out. The it was like My Pussy Claps? Was that the Yeah, it was book? called My Pussy Claps. It was the sequel to I'm Glad My Mom's Dead. <laughs> she make it clap, clap, <laughs> clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Remember when she dated that seven foot tall basketball player? Yeah, I do. Ugh. I got a th- I got Reddit gold from a comment I wrote about them. What did you say? Someone said R.I.P. Jeanette McCurdy, and I and then I replied, he already did. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Rip. She's uh, she's very hot. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not any- now that she's been ruined. Now anymore. that she's been black. <laughs> <laughs> now that she's been black, <laughs> it's just completely over. <sighs> Dude, yeah, but that Jets, reminds bro. me of one time at Portillo's. Uh, me, uh, Dylan, and some other guy were talking. I think it was Eddie, our old producer. Fuck Eddie. Eddie's a nobody. And it was something like, we were saying something stupid. One of us three was like, 
yeah, once you go black, you never go back. Uh huh. And right. our and a man a female manager goes, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Such a red flag. If you hear a girl say that's not true after you say that, you go, ew. Exactly. And then Dylan goes, oh, my <laughs> God. No, no, oh, no. No, 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 no. Just like that. Oh, God, no. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. This bitch did not just say that. Oh, my God. She was old, too. She was like 50. Was it Patty? No, uh, Patty's 70. Fuck that bitch. It was, what the fuck was her name? I, I probably know. didn't know her. That was the only female manager I knew. Yeah. Except for Taylor. <laughs> There's a bitch for show. <sighs> so, yeah, dude. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been grinding the shit out. Dude, I've been working out and doing the jujitsu, like, back to back. Ugh. Fucking a lot. But I get a lot of energy. Oh, you know what I've been doing consistently, too, is taking all my vitamins in the morning with no food in my stomach and throwing them back up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I've done oh, that yeah. probably twice in the last two weeks. Well, dude, maybe the third time it will work. Well, it turns out I only I have to take half of them, and then I have to take the other half at night, or I have to eat breakfast, and I can take all of them. So, like, in the morning, I, can, I figured out I can take my vitamin D easily. I can take vitamin D no matter what. Uh, alpha brain and... Uh, that's really it. If I take more than just vitamin D and alpha brain in the morning, I'll probably throw up. But I can. Still, but what I'm also trying to put in right now is zinc and magnesium separately, rather than the ZMA caps. I've been because I ran out of those. Now I'm doing zinc and magnesium separately, separate but equal. I'm taking them at the same oh, time. Oh hell no! I hate separate. Oh wait, no, I love separate but equal. Yeah, separate, separate but, equal. but equal. Separate, of course. Of course, separate. Separate, of course. But. Eh, equal. Uh, like, let's e focus on the eagle. important. Focus on the important parts. Separate. Separate. But, like, uh, maybe with, like, a uh, wall. Yeah. Like, with barbed wire and guards. Or guard dogs. Yeah. With but, sharp, razor-sharp teeth. Yeah, but but equal. Mm -hmm. uh, equal. Equal. Mm. Equal. But eh, who cares? What separate? You ever seen like a political cartoon where it's like two sides of a wall and it's like lightning and thunder and an evil mansion and then there's like rainbows and sunshine and flowers? Yeah. Separate but equal. Separate. <laughs> of course. But equal. Equal. You know, whatever equal means to you. Or whatever equal means to me. <laughs> it's my truth, my equality. Look at how low the water level is now on that. <laughs> I bet he's still in there. Too. I'm waiting. No, he's not. I'm waiting for it to get completely empty so that way it's easier to pick up. Oh my God. Aren't you so glad you spent so much time on that? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I need to sell. Oh, that's something I wanted to talk to you about, actually. Uh. I have a bunch of tech that I wanted to sell, and I wanted your opinion on where the best place online would be to sell it. Would it be Facebook Marketplace or like Craigslist? Mm. One of them being this laptop. Another thing being my old printer, the really nice printer that I have. Oh, yeah. But the, it needs a new print head, but maybe they don't need to know that, but they probably do. Hmm. Um, like, it works, but it's all streaky and bad. So, like, they What would, happened? I tried to print a poster. And but, like, you broke it. The first time you used it, you, you broke, broke it. it. Can I come? Well, can I just take it back? Fuck no. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is why we met at a gas station. <laughs> and then the other thing I want to sell is that Rode microphone there. Like the big long one that I bought, the omnidirectional one. Oh, okay. Because I feel like I'm never going to use it. Because I've got those nice ones, those little boxes. Yeah. With the little stick that you plug it into. So those are the replacements for that. And then also the bottom piece that came with oh, that, that big brick. Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. So where do you think I should try to sell all that bullshit? I think Facebook, probably. Yeah, okay. Because that, I feel like in total, all of those things that I just described may come out to be close to $1,000. <laughs> it's all are unused. You're going to get $70 for the laptop. No, the laptop is actually, so the re this laptop is actually a uh, high value for, uh, other than the fact that it cannot upgrade to Windows 11, <laughs> it's high or value. that it can't do anything. Well, no, it doesn't. So the thing that's special about this laptop is that it's one of those 360 ones, so you can flip it in half and turn it into a tablet, and you can write on it and draw and stuff. So wow, it's like, maybe it's like a wake if I was a drooling retard who couldn't use a computer maybe that would be beneficial to me dude there's a lot of art hoes that would be loving to use this laptop dude, like every laptop that comes out nowadays does that not not my laptop 
Well, it's that's because Apple is the only company with any fucking class left, dude. Do you, yeah, not you know everything what? needs to be a fucking touch screen. Yeah, dude. they got rid of the touch bar. Good. Yeah, it's that's not on there. And I I looked it up why, and they're like nobody used it. Nobody used it because it fucking sucked and it was stupid. I just see I got the mouse too, the black mouse. Yeah, I saw the. Black it seems mouse. all right. Yeah. I like that you don't need a mouse pad. I mean, I'm sure it would help. It's got like a mouse pad under it. Like it's got like it's got two legs, but all mouses have that. Should you think what I should get a mouse pad? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I got a coffee machine in there too. Whoa! A little, uh, a little juice I, world. I think I gotta cut back my caffeine intake, or else it's gonna permanently affect me. What your cock is getting smaller? No, I just don't think that three scoops of gamer subs to start my day every day is a good way to do it. Is that all you're taking though throughout the whole day? Caffeine wise, yeah. Uh, I also have a cup of coffee when I get to work. That's not too bad. Yeah. Honestly, that's really not that bad. You're no. probably fine. I think the max that you're supposed to be able to intake as an adult is 400 milligrams, and it sounds like you're not hitting that. I'm probably hitting half of that, honestly. Yeah, you're okay. Dude, you're fine. Dude, dude I'm in like dude. 700, 900. I used to, dude, I, I kind of wish I had like a monster supply fridge over there. <sighs> I, like, it, it was at the car wash. I wish I had a fridge in this basement that wasn't full of fucking Trevor's beer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a huge fridge in my basement that's just full of Gatorades, mm. sparkling water, mm. bubbly. Bro, shut the fuck up. Bro. Perrier. How much money do you think it would be to get a fridge? Well, I know mine was like 2600 Jesus. Okay, like a used fridge. What? What? A used fridge? You don't want to get a used fridge, you think? Hell no. Yeah, it's going to come with freaking cucarachas. Nah, I don't want that. Freaking, it's going to be owned by... Coloreds. Mm, well, yeah. Well, That's I'm gonna no get go. it on the wa- other side of the wall. I'm gonna. Oh, g- you're gonna. I'm gonna keep it separate. Okay, that but makes equal. sense. And I'm gonna go from the you know the separate side. Like, oh, of the course. better. You're well, no, I'm sorry. The equal side. side. Yes, my side. The equal side. The good side. The, it's equal. They're both good. Yeah. In their own ways. But they're separate. They're completely uh, let's separate. Let's just keep that clear. Let's have you just ever keep been to a you, uh, Hey, have you ever been to a uh, an aquarium where they have sharks in the aquarium yeah. and you can like face to face with them and the glass is like this thick? Yeah, three it's like feet that. Thick. Yeah, yeah, equal. Yeah, keep the dangerous super predators on one side of the glass, <laughs> and then keep the civilized humans on the other side. <laughs> of the glass. Super predator. Uh, it's those are not my words. No comment. Yeah, dude. It's just what it those is. Those are my. Political idols words. <laughs> idols. <laughs> I love Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I do. I wish she was my president. Well, she is my president. Would you rather have sex with Hillary Clinton or AOC? And it's recorded both. AOC? What? Wait, why is that a hard question? She's like hot. Yeah, but it would be so funny to have a video of Hillary Clinton just like doming you. That's true. And you just get freaking crazy neck <laughs> from <Yeah>. HRC. <laughs> HRC. Give it to me, Rod Ham. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm rotting I'm, my I'm, ham. I'm rotting my ham. <laughs> Hell yeah. I would totally pick Hillary. Just for that reason? Yeah, I bet just she's free. To, just to degrade her. Yeah, I bet Hillary a free. I bet that uh, AOC is probably kind of boring. I bet you AOC is a stupid bitch. Well, Latinas, though. Latinas get crazy, though. Yeah. So yeah. maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she's all right. She's not really Latina though. She kind of gave up on it. Yeah, she's Muslim. Oh, she Muslim? No. What'd she say? She walked. I think she said like, "I'm Jewish, actually. I'm practically Jewish." And then she was asked some like Jewish speaking, and then some guys like, "Oppa, I could tell." Oppa. Oh, yesterday or wait? No, what day was week? Was yesterday Sunday? Yeah. Yesterday, I was working brunch, and uh, this lady, I was I was carrying out food to these people because one of the 15-year-old kids who was supposed to show up didn't, so I had to do their job. Well, Whee! along with my job. I was really grinding. Whee! The money there has been pretty decent recently, recently. but I, I uh, was carrying out the uh, the tray of food, and I also had the legs to which where you put the food tray on the the stand, so that way when you give them the food out, you know? Yeah, I know what you're saying. And uh, I accidentally let go of the legs too early, and I dropped them on the ground, and they made a clattering sound. <laughs> and then four <laughs> ladies went, Oppa! Oh, my God. I would have 
pulled out a Dude, pistol and it started. It made me so fucking mad. I, I, because I, I was already cranky because I was there at brunch and brunch usually sucks, which it did. I think I made like forty dollars, and I went I, right after I said the money's been good there. It, <laughs> over throughout the day, it evened out really well, but um. She, she was like, Opa! And then some other ladies were like, Opa! And I went, Ha ha! I literally did that. I went, Ha ha ha! And they went, Ha ha! And then I went, Yeah, Opa! Opa! And then I put it down. And then I was walking past, um, I was I was walking past my coworker, and she heard the whole thing, and she was like, Opa! No, she didn't say anything, and I just went, I just went, Opa! Like loud to her, yeah. and then I went, "Fucking bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm sure she heard it, but then I just like walked into the kitchen, like because they weren't my table. The ladies who did it were not my table; mm-hmm. they were just the next to my table, and well, they were. Dude, the- it was their is Margarita Sunday. Oh, dude. actually, so I said Opa and I said "fucking bitch," but that wasn't what triggered me super hard. Like what? that made me upset that they did that because it's. But they do that. The word Opa is said a lot. At restaurants, dude. That's because the Jews are taking over. But so, no, that obviously triggered me. But then what really set me over the edge, which made me blurt out the word bitch after repeating what she said, was she said she the, my coworker picked up the, the legs and gave them to me so I could set them back up. And the lady went, nice, nice save. Nice save? She, to me. She said, nice save, uh, buddy, I think. I don't know if she said buddy, but she said, nice save, something word guy yeah like and then i and then i just went <laughs> like Opa. <laughs> Opa. like when oh man when she said nice save that made me so fucking mad dude don't tell me it was nice save when i dropped something i clearly fucked i know i fucked up all right everybody heard it it's not that big of a deal lady god damn god, it you look like such an idiot right now you know what, bitch? I don't come here. To, I don't come here to fuck around with you, lady. I, I'm over here trying to pay off my fucking four thousand dollar laptop, my eight thousand dollars student loan. You know I should be working somewhere much nicer than here, but I'm too lazy to find a goddamn job. <laughs> well, lazy, you're working so hard here. Yeah, I, I work hard there because I clock in and shut the fuck up, dude. I'm a, I'm a wage cock, but. uh... I should be doing. I should be working somewhere else where I w- like I might get paid to go to lunch. That would be nice. Um, just get paid to like. Not. I'm not saying go like a paid lunch break. I'm saying like get paid to have a meeting where you eat food with somebody and like talk about stuff. Oh, so you just watch the newest Joe Rogan and you just want to do that? Is that what Joe Rogan does? No, his newest. His newest podcast is with a guy who sold drugs with the pharmaceutical companies. Oh, really? What did he say about it? Because, yeah, I want to be a, a sales rep. That is the most cringed it's, fucking conversation of all time. It's literally the people who sold out America for greed. Yeah, that's why I want to corporate greed. Not even corporate greed, but also, like, sold out to the fucking demons of the world who would just want to control everybody and just turned everybody in the United States into zombies from the age of two when they started putting kids on... Uh, antidepressants at the age of two well for the record i wouldn't be selling antidepressants i'd be selling botox you'd be selling whatever the fuck they told you to sell you wage slut (laughs) yeah that's true but i would most likely be in the cosmetics department you'd be wherever the fuck they told you to be okay buddy i would love to be in higher levels but i think they would put me in a more low level situation where they're like they're not gonna put you anywhere you're useless to them yeah they're probably not gonna hire me but they might yeah I'm probably honestly going to end up being a beer rep or something. Well, the thing is, that's not what I'm going to end up. That's not my That's not my life. That's not my life. What are you even talking about representative? What do you know about anything to represent anybody for? It's just a word. It's just salesperson, basically. So you think you can find new people that can buy beer at large quantities? No, it's more like a reoccurring customer thing. So you think you can knock on people's doors and have them buy Bush Light every week? If they're a recursion, yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's what you're going to do? Make sure that people are buying Bush Light? Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I'm going to go, dude, you guys need this. You guys need this. Close. Close the close the sale, maybe. Close the door right in your face, you no. freaking goofball. No, no, no. All right, pretend you're knocking on my door. Knock, knock, knock. Hold on. Okay. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Hello? First of all, I wouldn't be selling to fucking houses. I, okay, but all right, I'll, for the for the So sp- then why are you here? Close. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. That's the sales representative. <laughs> the first thing you Can said- you pretend to be an Indian guy at a liquor store instead? Oh, okay. Now I understand. All right. No, okay. Ting dong. Hello, buddy. How are you doing, sir? Very nice, buddy. What, well, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Very good, yes. <laughs> hey, man. Are you running low on any product right now? Yes, buddy. We got wine right here, buddy. Eleven ninety nine bottle. Yeah, no, I know. I see that. But do you have any product that you need more of, like a restock? What are you looking for, buddy? <laughs> right here. Listen, Dothead, if you don't buy <laughs> something, I'm going to blow your fucking head off, all right? I know what you did on 9-11. <laughs> Tito's, yes, right here, buddy. <laughs> all right, I'll Thank take a you. bottle of Tito's. <laughs> ID, buddy. No, I don't got it. Get out. No, come on. Be cool, Get man. Get down to Here's party. a fiver. Here's a fiver. Mother bitch. Fiver. No, mother bitch. You're 20. Thank you. Come again. All right. Later, bro. <laughs> you didn't even... You, you lost 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, shit. He got me. <laughs> he didn't even sell anything. Oh, fuck. Dude, maybe this job's not for me. <laughs> All right. Now pretend... <laughs> Right. Now to be pretend, pretend to be somebody who knows I'm gonna show up like it's an appointment, like we're meeting. Am I still Indian? Yeah, you can be. You can be whatever race you want. In this one. Well, well, if I can be whatever race I want, I won't be Indian. Okay, I'll be, be a be, local be, mom and pop liquor store with the white guy. All right, sure. <laughs> Ding dong. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today? Hey, it's me. Uh, we're here for. I'm here for the meeting that we had scheduled earlier. I'm with. Uh, I'm with Bush Light. Oh, Bush Light. We don't carry Bush Light. What's the nice to have you here? What, what can I do for you? Yeah, so I'm just trying to see. Wait, you, did you say this was a meeting? Yeah, yes. Oh, you must have. Did you talk to my wife? She, uh, yeah. She usually handles like the phone calls. Yeah, stuff. Gina. Gina, yeah. She didn't tell me about this. Fucking no surprise there. It's son of a. Oh, <sighs> well, I can come back at a different time if you would like, but uh, I'm here already. So if you have a few minutes to talk, that'd be. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, sorry, I'll just have to wring her neck out later, so... What yeah, do you want yeah, women, man, I get it. Yeah, no, only I can say that stuff. So. Oh, sorry, what I do you, mean... What do you, so, so let's just go ahead in the back office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, Jerry, click, 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 click. <laughs> Is that fly swatters? <laughs> Is that flies? Yeah, okay, it's flies in the office. <laughs> click. <laughs> All right, so... So uh, Bush Light's pretty good, huh? Yeah, Bush Light's great. And, you know, we've got a great sale here for you. So we're going to be able to sell you about 100 cases for probably about, uh, it's going to do you $10 a case. And I think that you're, you're in a great market right here for where a lot of people are looking to get cheap beer, light beer. And Bush Light is a great tasting light beer. It's a great competitor to Bud Light and Coors Light. I think you would really like to have this in your store. And you know what? We're going to beat those prices from those other guys. What percentage ABV we got on Bush Light? Uh, 3.2, you know? It's a good, solid light 3. beer. 3.2. Ice House has six. Ice House is not a light beer, you know? it's uh, Ice House is a light beer. I don't know. I don't Ice never House heard. is also only t- wait, $10 a pack. How big are the packs? 30 Oh, okay. Okay, so what are we going to be selling them for? You're going to be selling them for 30 <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Or you can sell them for whatever the fuck you want, dude. Oh, I can. Yeah. You sell oh, them for 70. Wow. I don't care. I'm kind of dr- I'm kind of <laughs> drunk right now. Oh, well, is there anything I can do for you to maybe help you feel better? No, I feel great. Oh, good. <laughs> it, it'd be impossible to make me feel any better Oh, right you're now. at a solid like uh level point. Well, you want to try a bush light? You want to crack one open and see if it makes you feel any better? Yeah. Here. I already <laughs> said I feel fine though, but thanks. Yeah, no problem. (laughs) What the fuck is What is this? Oh my god. 
No, this is a, is this a joke? <laughs> is, oh, Here, now, maybe oh, now I get it. That bitch Here, wait, Gina is try. a fucking prankster. No, let's try a different one. Maybe that one wasn't any. Here you go. This one's this one's bound to be much better. Here, let me let me try one myself. Yeah, you try it first. Ah, that was. That was really good. Oh, wow. Here, here. Mine tasted like fart juice. Here, <laughs> here try it, try it. <laughs> <laughs> Just projectile vomit. Get out of my store! Get the fuck out! Damn it, dude. I almost had the sale until I tried to make you buy one. I literally almost had the sale, but then you tried it. <laughs> then I tried it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great light beer, dude. I stand by our product. Oh, oh that's fun. Yeah, maybe I think uh, what what would be a good sales job for me? Not cars, not insurance. Why do you want to be sales? Where did this come from? I just think it would be a higher paying job than what I do right now, and I already have a lot of experience selling stuff. Selling what to who? Fucking food and alcohol. You are such a fucking N-word, dude. What are you talking about? When you sit at a counter and go, what can I get for <laughs> no, you? No, no, it's what pitching. Can I, what can I get for you? No, that's not a sales. People rep. go, what do you recommend? And then I recommend them something expensive, and I sell them on why it's a good thing to choose rather than a fucking burger. Stop diminishing what I do. What can I get? Uh, you can get the Whopper with extra cheese, and extra <laughs> cheese is only another forty cents. <laughs> I'm the best sales representative ever. <laughs> no, you would never say only 40 cents. You have to make them feel poor. For example, with the baked goat cheese at work, it costs an extra dollar to get more extra bread with the goat cheese, but everybody always burns through the bread, so I always recommend it. So I go, all right, would, uh, you're going to get the baked goat cheese. I, I would recommend you get the extra bread. It does cost another dollar, but most people go through the bed very quickly, and then they go, oh, a dollar smaller. I'll get it. Because if you go, it's only a dollar, then they may go, fuck you, buddy. What do you think? I got money? This is what this is what you think you're doing. I'm mine the puppet master. Oh, these fucking idiots. I just got him to buy extra bread. What morons. <laughs> Dude, if you think about it, that's an extra 20 cents for me if I'm lucky. Oh, why? Because you think they're going to tip you? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You'd be in for a rude awakening. <laughs> I've been getting shitty tips lately. I've been getting a lot of money every day, but I've been getting really shitty tips lately. Like individual tips? Yeah. That's funny. I've been getting treated poorly. That's why I need a new job is because I want a job that doesn't rely on gratuity. <laughs> I want a job where I'm getting paid and I know how much I'm getting paid every day. So that way I can do the math on figuring out how long it's going to take for me to pay off all these debts. Long ass time. You think so? What if I get a really crazy $500,000 job where I just work for like four weeks? Mm, I'd come work with you. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, because I'd stay there longer than 12 months. I'd stay there for one minute and leave. I'm Bill Gates for 10 minutes. Give me money. My name is Bill Gates. I want to be as rich as Bill Gates. Rich as Bill Gates. I want to be as rich as Elon Musk. Rich as Elon Musk. Rich as Elon Musk. Ooh, rich as Elon Musk. Elon Musk. High as a kite. Bitch, I'm fuck right. I got money. I got bands. Fuck that bitch in the ass. I got one goal. That's be as rich as Bill Gates. Be as rich as Bill Gates. Be as rich as Bill Gates. I got money that long ago. Money got long ago. Bitches got harder. Bitches got harder. Bitches be farting. What are you doing if the bitch fart when you eating it from the back? While I'm eating the ass? No, you eating the pussy from the back. I say, shh, I'm coming to you next. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. Jiu-jitsu is very fun. It's kind of gay, though. What? No. Yeah, it's a little gay. No way. So far, I haven't had any boner issues, though, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for whatever reason, I, I, it does, it's, I'm not sexually attracted. I'm not aroused at all while I'm doing it. Except for the 40 year old woman. No, she was. The least dude, you attractive. said you were gonna hook me up with Yasmin. What the fuck? Oh, dude, I totally forgot. I've been too busy trying to sell beer to this one guy. Some Pajit. Yeah. Well, this other guy too. But oh. uh, 
yeah <laughs> let me hit up, let me hit up some girl i barely knew and that i've talked to five times thanks and dude. i haven't talked to in fucking five years thanks and then she'll go uh what just tell her that she can take me out to a nice crab dinner <laughs> and then take me out to the casino. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's not gonna you're not gonna find another girl like that, dude. I know. That's not true. Women love paying for your shit when she, we look good. Yeah. Which I don't right now, but I did. I gotta get more shredded and then I'll be able to get free shit too. Yeah, because you're kind of fugly. I know. It's like I'm working from a base a bad base. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I have a really crazy forehead. I've realized that in the last, like, six months. Me too, actually, but my hair always covers it. I have, like, a really Neanderthal forehead. Like Mine doesn't protrude. Mine is just really tall. Look, look at mine. Mine's, like, a fucking, like, incline. Look how big mine is. Yeah, you got big head, man. But it's been like that since I was, like, 16, so you it's not like my forehead's getting bigger or anything. You could just shave your whole head, and then it's all forehead, kind of. Yeah, but... I'm just going to grow my hair out for like six months, I think. Really? So you can be the most disgusting guy at work? No, I want to get a rock star haircut. Like a fucking like zipped on the side and then like lightning bolts and shit or what? No, not that crazy. Like just long. And you go. Ugh. Like kind of, yeah, just long and so I can go like that. Kind of like woman hair in the 80s. And you think that's going to get you ass or what? No, I think that'll make me look cool with all my tats. I think I'm gonna get tatted up once I get a shit ton of money. Nice. What are you? What are you gonna? You should start with Master of Reality. I think I'm gonna get a bunch of ones and elevens on me. Gonna get a bunch of skeletons on like me. Like six nine. Yeah, but with ones. Just a ones. I, the one that you sent me this morning was very funny. <laughs> a, a, a clock around my belly button, but just with eleven. Yeah. Everywhere. It's it actually kind of trippy. It didn't even it. Didn't even have to be a clock, but it was just so like you know where the elevens are going. It could just be elevens ordered in that like clock way. Yeah, without the arms. Well, instead of twelve, it would be eleven elevens. Yeah, it would just be eleven, 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 eleven. eleven, 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 eleven. And then they go, "What's that represent?" And you go, "You wouldn't get it, dude." Listen, dude, you got to do like ten grams of mushrooms. You go, "What's it. your birthday?" Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. You go, "What's your birthday?" And then they go, "Oh, you go, ooh, you're a three. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny to hit people with it. Sometimes I, if 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 I'm, <laughs> I love the numerology head people. Sometimes <laughs> I'll just be like, they'll be talking to me, and then I'll, <laughs> I've done this like three times actually, and like I'll stop them, and I'll be like. I'll be like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm an eleven, right? <laughs> what? And they're like, what? And I'm like, what? What's your birthday? And I'll do the math really quick, and then I'll just go. Loser, <sighs> and then I and then I refuse to explain to them what it means to be a five or whatever the fuck they are. It's just not good, buddy. I'm, I go, you know, I'm a master number. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you. You kind of got to be born into it, okay? Yeah, you really do have to be born into it. It's not something that you can just like catch on the fly, dude. All right, this isn't learning how to whistle, okay? This is uh, this is some real spiritual warfare. Listen, some of us are born leaders, and some of them, like you, you're a sheep. Are sheep? You're a follower. And you need to be led. Yeah. So get behind me. Today was all. Follow. I was full jits, dude. Full jits all day, bro. What are you doing? I. Uh, they were teaching me how to do this takedown, where you just basically like um, get. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> you just start you just start booty grinding on them. Ooh, and they go, ooh, Wesley. You're supposed to like flip them over your shoulder kind of, but it didn't really work when I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh I'm what getting your work, teacher. I'm getting a lot better at figuring dude, this guy I trained with this guy at the end. He's like a Brazilian dude who is a black belt now. Mm -hmm. And he 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 was training with me for like thirty minutes after class just because after every Every class after class, you have 30 minutes that you can just kind of do whatever you want with somebody. Yeah. And that guy was the one who was teaching the class today. He's not... So anybody, I guess I learned that anybody who has a black belt is considered a professor. Oh, okay. And uh, so they are able to teach. That makes teach. sense. And so... Well, because I think it's a certified black belt through mm -hmm. my school. Like, you could probably look them up in a database. 
And so he uh, was just teaching me these crazy moves where he was explaining how he used to only use his legs for his, like, his main power source, but he got a really intense knee surgery like 10 years ago or something, and he just like completely switched his game up because his leg is weak now. And he was showing me all this shit that you do with the gi, where he was just like, he was taking like the part where it opens, just like the bottom yeah. part here, and he was grabbing it, and he was just holding onto it the whole time of my gi. And then he was like, he was like, I... He's like, I play lapel game. I only play lapel game. And I'm like, okay. He's like, I play lapel. I was like, all right. And then he just started like wrapping it like around my head and shit and like <laughs> choking me out with like my own shirt. Oh my God. And then he kept like, he, and then he would pull it a different way and make it so that like my arm was completely useless because I couldn't move it because it was like pinned by my own shirt. And you know, and you're like, you know, if this was in the streets, I'd kick your ass, right? I was like, you know, I'm a firearm owner, right? <laughs> I fucking shoot you, boy. It was funny though. He's a cool guy. He's a uh, for a Brazilian. He's not as retarded as the other ones. You know, it'd be really cool though about that Brazilian jiu-jitsu place mm. if there was like it was like the same thing, but it was just like separate. Like you know, they just took all the certain kind of people yeah. and all of the different kind of people and like separated them. Of course, they were, but more importantly, they were separated from each other. <laughs> That's definitely the name of this episode. Separated but also equal. <laughs> separated but also equal is way funnier than separate but equal. <laughs> <laughs> separated but also equal. That's how I feel about a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm finally uh, rocking with this brand new job. I finally don't feel sore every day and feel like shit. Did you go to the gym today or no? Uh, not today. I'm going to just lift, uh, when I get home, I'm just going to bench real quick and go to bed. Dude, I benched fucking, I benched, uh, what is, uh, what is a plate in 25s? Wait, 185. I benched 185 today and it was like all I could do. That's Five reps of 185 was like everything oh. I had in me today. I'm honest with you dude right now. If I got one rep of 155 right now, I'd be pretty happy. That makes me feel better, but I feel very weak. I just feel like a fucking baby right now. 185 is low, way lower than I thought you were going to say because you were pushing. I was pushing 235. I know. And now, like, all of a sudden, it's just like... I think it's because you started smoking weed. I haven't started smoking weed. I think you started smoking weed with your tranny girlfriend. I'll smoke weed right now, dude. Can I smoke weed with your tranny girlfriend sometime? She doesn't smoke weed. I actually got her off weed, kind of. Whoa. Well, I didn't do personally do it. She did it. But, like, I right when we started hanging out, I was kind of explaining my whole thing with weed, and then she kind of stopped smoking weed a lot. Maybe she does it every day right behind my back, though. Yeah. Like a liar. It's probably. She's, she's probably, probably so high all the time bitch. I've ever hanging out with her. She's, like, texting you. Eh, wow, so cool. Yeah, like Randy. <sighs> we haven't talked about her <laughs> him in a while. Fuck that bitch. I wonder what he's, he's up to. Who cares? Probably eh. protecting trans kids. Eh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, How about man. don't touch kids' penises? Can that be okay? Unless it's say? feminine. That's true. <laughs> God, James Charles, please call my phone. Yeah, hit my line, James Charles. Phone number. <laughs> Dude, I you think don't... James Charles is one of the only people on earth that I would be like starstruck if I saw. Why? Just because you've built him up so much in your head? Just because it would just be like, I know that nothing, like who else am I going to meet that is this funny? Not like he's funny. No, but the idea. The, of the idea of being in the same room with him to me would seem so like. Absurd. It'd be like a dream. Like I wouldn't, I like, I wouldn't believe it. Like why is this guy in the same, why is this goddess in the same room as me? <laughs> Hey, sister. Hey, sister. I wouldn't be able to help myself. I'd have to sexually harass him. You think so? You think you would, like, start catcalling him? I'd go... <laughs> Give me some of that meow. <laughs> have you seen that video of that dude who's talking about pussy, and every time he's going to say pussy, he replaces it with meow? <laughs> I think I might have seen that uh, video, he's, but... He's like, I'm a... I, I, it's, some, it's some dude where he's just like... I'm a real ass motherfucker. I'm real as hell. And if you're going to give me that meow, then I'm going to give you some of that. Row, 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 row. <laughs> and you're going to give me some of that meow. <laughs> I think it's so funny when the guys go do coke at work and then they come back and they go, Woo! Oh, 
Oh, now it's guys. Yeah, everybody's doing. Dude, one guy's selling it. The rest of them are buying it. Man, that's where all the money's going. Is like, that the other guy's pocket? Woo! So he's doing coke for free, and they're let's all rock and roll. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 It's so funny because he it's he's probably doing much more than them, yeah. and they're all paying him to do it as well, but he's mm. just getting to do his for free, and they're having to pay for his, and he's not making any money off of it. Of course. That's the sign like of a true businessman. That's like a basically most drug dealers. That's like a, a very unsuccessful drug dealer. Like baseline drug dealer is just somebody who's able to break even. And get baked nonstop. Yeah, nonstop baked. Or at least supplement their baked income. Uh, They're like, well, I'm only paying like I'm smoking a gram a day, but I'm smoking like five grams a day. <laughs> so you're still in the whole brain. Smoking five grams is like, nothing. <laughs> smoking five grams is nothing? Yeah. What to who? To me. Dude, you can smoke. If you smoked one gram right now, you would be in outer space. Yeah, but then in an hour and a half, I'd want another gram. No, but if you did five to the dome, you probably wouldn't be able to. You'd probably have to tap. I'd probably... How would you do it? Like, honestly, imagine trying to smoke five grams of weed right now without stopping. You wouldn't be able to. I would just do three joints. You wouldn't be able to. Why not? You would stop. You would not be able to do it. If, by yourself. Well, what if I had an hour? I'll give you an hour. So I can't smoke one gram of weed every 11 minutes? No. I really don't think so. We could try it. Like we can do an house. outside. We can do an outside podcast where you just. Sit I'll there do and try three to... joints and a cigar. You would not, dude. I'm a fucking chimney. <laughs> You're crazy. You'd now, s- if you said three cigarettes, I probably couldn't. In an hour, I, I can smoke three cigarettes. In I an think hour. I would get sick. Yeah, but you'd get like. Yeah, you would get sick, probably. I think I'd get like the shakes. Yeah, but I think you would be so scared after five grams of weed. Oh, I would be, I'd be buzzing, I'd be paranoid, I'd be you'd shaking, be, I'd be scared. You'd be on the mic like, <sighs> we could hot mic you with one of the, uh, with the lapel mics I've got. Mike's mom is a really lifelike, wanna be a Christ like. What I wanna get when I move out and wanna partake in illegal drugs, I wanna get a vaporizer, but it's like a... I have one of those, or I had one of those. But like weed vaporizer, not like an electric vaporizer. Oh, like it's got no batteries or anything. It's all metal, and you put the weed in there, and then you like heat up the outside of the metal tube with metal or with with fire, with either a torch or there's this thing you can build. Uh, it's like just a metal. It's just like a piece of metal, and it wraps around itself. It's and a it, coil. It's like a coil, and you stick the metal thing inside the coil. And it just heats up. It heats up around it. And then and what, it, you put your mouth on it? Like on one end is where you put the Kuschmeister, and then the other end is where you go. So you can't touch it. You can't hold it. Well, you can't hold one end of it. But it's going to be hot as fuck. No, only it's two separate pieces, and there's like a piece of metal that separates the oh. two. It's like it's, they know what they're doing. But if okay. you touch the other part, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, but it's huge. It's like a flute almost. Not not, not like a flute. But. And why is this cooler than a like an electric vaporizer? I've really liked my electric vaporizer. Looking uh, back on it. The one I had sucked. The one I had was this black one. Yeah. That had like a little LED screen and it had a little mouthpiece that was like shaped like a bird's beak. Yep, I had mine too. Yeah, I used to go <laughs> when I was in school, when I was like a freshman in college, I I would go to cuz I was in a dorm building still and you can't smoke weed in a dorm building. Pussies. First of all, it was illegal at the time still, and also I'm a child. And so, not a child, but I'm a grown man, all right? I'm a big bad man. No, I'm I'm still 18. But so I, I I'm would. 15. I, you'd, hit the, you'd heat the vaporizer up. I think a good amount of time to heat it up for was like 60 to 90 seconds before you started hitting it. That's when I noticed like the best like puffs. But I would yeah. put like half gram of weed in there. That's like all that would fit really. Yeah. And I would go and I would go to a bathroom on a floor that's like three floors below my floor in a in a because all the bathrooms in a dorm room for school are public like Mm -hmm. you have to shower publicly you have to shit publicly it's kind of the worst it's like the worst i don't want to get into college right now or else i'll get pissed and not be able to fall asleep tonight (laughs) all right (laughs) we'll keep the those details to a minimum but so i would i would be smoking the vaporizer Mm -hmm. in the bathroom right and there's like 10 stalls oh yeah and then i would just be hitting it Why wouldn't you just do that in your dorm, though? Because it doesn't stink with the vapor, is it? No, mine stank. Oh, really? Mine smelled like weed, but also it tasted like burnt popcorn. 
Smell yeah. like weed. That's weird. It's the the one I'll let you get back to this ten stall yeah. story, but real quick. The one I'm talking about that's all metal and that doesn't like you have any batteries or electronics required. Yeah. It's supposed to taste better and it really stretches it. Like like when you'd use it, it uh the way it cooks it or whatever, it uh you get a lot of smoke for the point. You put in like point two G's, yeah, and you get some good ass hits that you would never get out of. Like you're able to stretch the kush a lot longer. I remember that's actually remembering now why I did that in the first place. Had the vaporizer is not only for like being discreet, but also because I was poor and I was able to smoke like twenty dollars a weed for like two weeks. Yeah, see, and, and that's what I want. I don't want to spend two hundred dollars a month on kush. Yeah, I want to spend fifty. I remember actually, I would smoke it. And then I would finish smoking, and I wouldn't dump it. Like, I would keep it in there, and it would be all, like, brown. Yeah. And I would leave it in there for, like, a, a day, uh-huh. and then I would go back and hit it again, and it would be oh. even better. Yo, that's another thing, that if you vaporize it, you can save it and eat it. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. I should have eaten it. I did eat it. I gotta go fish that shit out of the, gar- the landfills that it's in. Dude, <laughs> it got me baked for, like, 40 minutes. But, like, I was, like, comatose. But it only lasted. Were like you in like minutes. a coding crazy mode? We need nether words again, dude. Right, I'm dude. so pissed at one. Oh, dude, this guy I work with that I was just talking about earlier. Shout out Brandon. He uh, he went and got nether words. Didn't fucking tell me. Did you ask for more? I said yeah. I said dude, wh- uh, where's the guy? What's the connect? Yeah. And then he was just kind of like, oh, I think that was all he had for night right now. And I was like, give me the connect. Yeah, and he didn't. But like he was being kind of weird. I think it'll. I think it will end up happening. Okay, good. But he and another coworker of mine split, uh, like a a stack of wars. No, really? Yeah. What a fucking ass! I know. I was pissed. That is a pissed. Because I was just telling him about how much I love the wart. I know, and work. I need it, dude. The last time I took warts, I fucking built a fucking business. <laughs> I need this to get me through this shit. Yeah, maybe I'll build a business next time. It's my turn to build a business. Yeah, go ahead. A failing business. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you know, so we we might we're halfway through. We're halfway to a new Nether Fortress, I think. Oh, thank goodness. The the lights on the end of the tunnel for sure. Well, hopefully this guy gets his head out of his fucking ass. I know. I can't believe us. that. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, but so back to it. So I'm smoking the in fucking... The stall. Yeah, I'm in the stall, vaping the weed. And people would come in there, and they'd be, like, just taking showers and shitting and stuff. And, you know, they would... You could just feel the energy of them being, like, somebody smoking weed in here. And I would just... I wouldn't even care. I would just be, like... <laughs> like, trying to just smack it. Yeah, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm doing... I'm blashing through it. And then I would wait until they're either in the stalls or out of the bathroom. And there's the bathrooms always had two doors. One side on... Like, one on one side of the hallway and one on the other side of the hallway. And you can enter and exit from both doors. Mm-hmm. And so I would hear them go out of one side of the door. They would be in the stall. And I would just click, click. And I would go out the stall... Out the, out the door, the bathroom, and then into the stairwell. Mm-hmm. And then I would go up to the, up the stairs to a different hallway. Like, a different... Uh, no... A, well, in, unless I was not able to finish smoking because like an RA came in or something like yeah. that, I would just um I would go to a different floor that it wasn't my floor still, and I would go back through to the other side of the floor, and then I would go back down the the other stairwell back to my floor, mm-hmm. and I would go into my room, but I would still have the weed pen the whole time with the old burnt weed in there, and then I would put it in my room, and I was so high I wouldn't be able to tell that I clearly I I probably didn't really smell like weed that much. But like the the vape. the vape did, and I would just throw it in my drawer or something, and it would like kind of defeat the whole purpose. <laughs> because it would still reek. Yeah, I I would do that all the time. That was when I had that roommate, the dude. Did I ever tell you about that guy who would like his name was Alex, and he would uh he would fucking that has no correlation here. But go ahead. I know his name was Alex, and he would he would uh. <laughs> He would like just like lay in his bed and buy subway. There was a subway at the bottom of the building, and he would just go to the bottom of the building, buy subway, come back up, play acoustic guitar in our small fucking like fifty square foot room, and loudly. Obviously, it's acoustic. And then he would eat the subway in his bed and put the trash just at at the foot of his bed, like in his bed at the foot of his yeah. bed. Go to bed, wake up, go to subway. Get some more Subway, eat it, put the trash at the foot of his bed next to the other trash yeah. with all the crumblies and just sleep. 
And by the end of the week, he would just have like a fucking mountain of trash in his bed, mm-hmm. and he would sleep in the trash. And that's like my kind of guy. And then he would just like throw it away like once every couple weeks. Hell yeah! And I was appalled. That sounds like a real ass dude. He kind of, you know what, in retrospect, reminded me, he was super into theater. He was a theater major. Ooh, nice. Somebody with a personality. And he, you know who he remind, reminds me of, honestly, is um, Quentin Tarantino. Ooh. That's, like, kind of what he sounded like. His voice had the same, like, pitch. He said the N-word a lot? <laughs> I just watched uh, JRE where he was talking about that. But, um, no, it, he just had that nasally kind of, like, voice. Yeah, man. Yeah, Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah, um, making movies uh, is pretty difficult, actually. That's why I've only made really good ones. <laughs> That's my Quentin Tarantino impression. What is he on nine movies? He's gonna be on his tenth, and then he's done. Uh, he made. He said some whole thing about he's like, I'm only gonna make ten movies, or yeah, I think that's his lore. But I think technically. What the fuck was it called? Uh, his latest one, something about Once Hollywood. Upon a Time in Hollywood. That one sucked. I never watched it. I hated that movie. Cuck. Not you, him. Him for making it. Yeah. He ma- uh, he makes some great movies, but that was not one of them. You think we could kick his ass? The what do you think? What's his belt in jujitsu? you think? Probably. I'm no stripe white right now, dude. Probably <laughs> Purple, at least. Who, who, Quentin Tarantino? Yeah. You think so? Why wouldn't he be? Because then you'd have to be doing it. He's he make- probably did it. Actually, Joe, I'm, I'm making movies right now. Listen, Joe, um, how do I say this? Um, dude can't act, okay? <laughs> and we need an actor in this movie, Joe, so can you fuck off? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a pretty good impression. Thanks. I'm going to submit it. I'm going to put in my portfolio. Quentin Tarantino impersonator. You know, it'd be so funny if, like, if... (laughs) This is an idea that just came into my head. If I just dropped everything I had going here and was like, I'm going to be an actor. (laughs) And then you, in, like, two... Or, like, in two weeks, something crazy turned... You saw me on TV, like, in some TV show. (laughs) Like, on Saturday Night Live or something? Not even. Like, something more famous, like... Like, Ozark? Like one of those TV shows that have been on for 19 years, like The Young and the Restless. Oh my God. And you just saw me as one of the guys who goes, <gasps> Veronica, I loved you. What did you do this to me for? And you look at the camera and wink. Kink. Then I wink with my chemical burned eye. <laughs> 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 my chemical burned eye. That's actually how I got the job in the first place. Yeah, you know, I actually was the one who did that to you. I chemically burned your eye so that I could fill you in when your eye goes out. You don't even want to work there. I do want to work there for a little bit. You got to work there for five years minimum. Is that what they say? Is that you sign a contract? No. All right, I'll work there for five years. Fine. No, you won't. Fine, I'll work there for five years. No, you won't. That would make it really easy for us to do the podcast. And it'd make it really easy for you to pay off all the debt you owe if you work there for five years and buy a house or at least rent an apartment Yeah, and pay off everything. But the only problem is then you'd be so rich and have such a great work ethic. Wouldn't even want to do anything. Why? I wouldn't want to do anything if I was rich, dude. Just kidding. I'd be so fucking pumped on. If I had a ton of money, all I would do is invest it better into like myself because I can't invest it into like things because I always fail in I think that's literally just God telling me that if I invest into things that aren't myself, that I won't reap any benefits. And I, all the money that I spend in investment has to be towards like buying things that are going to make my personal projects better. Because if I invest in like, I don't know, cryptocurrency, it'll just explode. I think if I got $10 million, I would just shoot a heroin until I died. You think so? No, but I wish I did that. If I had $10 million, I think I would um, buy a bunch of like cool tech. I think if I had $10 million, I'd buy a big concrete fortress. I'd buy land and then make some kind of, like, training facility. Oh, I would definitely get all the top of the line. Like, the one thing that Joe Rogan does right is he has all the cool shit. 
Like, yeah. he's got, like, a cool sauna. He's got, like, the cold plunge stuff. He's got, like, all the things that he enjoys. He's got, like, the best you stuff of that. a hot yoga studio. I would definitely get all that. I would get, um... I'd get a movie theater, too. I would get a uh, reverse hyper. I would get a, uh... I would definitely have a big gym like he has. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about archery. I would get a shooting range, though. Oh, yeah. I But that might be outdoors. And then I would do um, definitely the sauna, like a nice, nice sauna. And a huge nether wart farm. What else? I would do the float tank thing. I think that would be cool. And nether giant, wart farm. Giant, giant nether wart farm. I would do a rock wall. Even though I don't even like rock climbing, that would be just a crazy flex. Rock walls are gay. Nope, not gay. Super badass and shredding. Shredding it. I think if I saw somebody rock climbing, here, let's pretend. Me rock climb? You rock climbing. Okay. Uh, oh, this! Oh, this holds really. This one's a crazy hold right here. Ooh. Oh, look at this ant on the ground. It's pretty big. This, oh man! Oh, right there. Right this there. ant is way cooler than anything else. I'm rock else. climbing up here. Oh, it's so awesome! I love rock climbing. Oh, look, a gay person. Oh, I'm rock climbing. I'm anyway, back oh, to my sh- way more interesting ant. Oh man! Ooh. Ding, 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 ding. Whew. Yo, man, did you see that up there? Huh? Oh, I was trying not to pay attention. Did you see that dope? I was looking at this cool ant. It's like <laughs> got like two different shades of black on it. Smash! Why did you just say smash? No. Oh. Oh, what are you doing to my hands? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Now watch me climb this rock. You look like an idiot. Uh, Wait, what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> I said you look stupid. Watch this, though. Watch me go out the upside down part. You look like you want a man to fuck you. himself. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, he would climb to the top and just cut the rope and just... I don't know how I'm going to pay these fucking people in three weeks. Why? What happens in three weeks? What are they going to do? That's what I'm thinking. I think if I send them anything and just say, you'll get the rest. I mean, like, what if you don't send them anything? What are they going to do? I don't know. I got to talk to I literally don't know what they're going to do. How do you even get in contact with the IRS? Can you call them? Is there like a number you can call? And, like, I mean, talk to I somebody? made a online. I'm, I said, I can't pay you right now. I'll pay you in six months. But that was six months ago. Can you call them, though? Is there like a... Fu- I don't know. I would love to call the IRS and be like, yo, why won't you guys accept my fucking tax returns? Or accept my taxes and give me my tax returns? Fuck the I- IRS, help me. Help me help you, dude. I'm trying to fix my taxes. Go to H&R Block. I pay my goddamn taxes. Do you think they'll be able to fix it? Yeah. The only problem is I don't have all the physical copies of everything. I have the digital copies like on, on TurboTax. It's fine. You think- Why would you need the... Fi- just take your laptop. You think they'll be okay with that? Yes. You think they'll be okay with that? They probably have printers there, too, that would, they would let you use. You think they'll be help me? Yes. You're literally going to pay them $200 to help you. You think you make me maybe pay the $200 after they for sure make sure my taxes aren't fucked up anymore? I don't want to pay them. I owe Amazon money. I don't know Amazon money. I owe Discover money. I owe Discover money. Me too. And I haven't been paying the minimum either. And I with the Apple card. Mm, That's going to be me once this new one comes out then. The Apple card is awesome, dude. It's titanium. I know. And they let you charge it. My, I think my limit on it is like eight grand or something. Mine's dude. six grand. It's Mine might be six. It's somewhere up there. I can't believe they accepted me. I think it's because they saw how much I was searching online for Apple products. And they were like, pull the trigger. <laughs> I told you, dude, the lie, and it'll let you in. I, I know you re- said you did before, but... I lied I less through. than last time. Damn. I lied way less. <sighs> Maybe it's because I was lying too much, and they're like, no, you don't. No, you don't. They're like, you don't make 200 grand a year. <laughs> Silly fuck. Nobody makes that much. Yeah, nobody in the whole world. There isn't a single person. Yeah. They, they, we could, what was it? What was it? What was the name of the title? Keep them separate, but also equal, or separated, but also equal. Separated, but also equal. Thank you. God bless you.